In the scientific community, there's an ever-increasing emphasis on looking at problems that are of increased complexity. That increased complexity can come from having additional phenomenon, needing to look at a broader range of scales, or changing the kind of question that you need to ask. The reliance on computation is increasing over time, and our goal is to facilitate that. That involves helping figure out what the right system of equations to look at are, understanding the properties of those equations, developing discretizations of those equations that are suitable for simulating on a computer, figuring out how to implement that on a computer, and analyzing the data that comes out of those simulations. So one of the nice things about Berkeley Lab is the ability to look across that entire spectrum for a single problem. A lot of the work that we've done in the past has been focused on simulating different phenomena. A recent new direction is looking at experimental data. We need new mathematics to be able to understand the relationship between what's actually measured and what scientists actually want to know. CAMERA is the Center for Advanced Mathematics for Energy Research Application. CAMERA has multiple projects at work. They range from tachography to fast tomographic reconstruction to image processing using convolutional neural nets to ways to automate experiments to actually liberate humans from having to stay up all night to move a sample three inches. There's no shortage of the amount of problems out there. And as I said, people build machines that are faster and faster in terms of the data they can collect and applied mathematics is ever more needed to make some sense of it. One of the problems that we're having right now is analyzing vast amount of data. But the, the methods that TESS uh, uh, is, for instance, developing uh, might be able to, to give us some relief of, of this yeah, tsunami of data that comes at us. Yeah, so one thing that I work on is developing um, deep learning algorithms, which are a particular type of machine learning. If you imbue a lot of context and prior knowledge into these algorithms, not, not too much so that it's restrictive, what you can do is that you can fit very accurate models um, with minimal training data, but yet apply it very quickly and very easily to a large, vast amount of data that are coming out of these, these new facilities. The key distinguishing factor of LBL is that it's, you're allowed to put together big teams. We face these really large, challenging problems. They're very difficult for a single investigator to pursue, but at LBL, we can assemble a team and draw together all the different kinds of expertise you need and use that to attack these big, outstanding challenge problems. Berkeley Lab is an excellent place for someone to come at the beginning of their career. When they come to Berkeley Lab as a postdoc, they get to participate in this larger team science and for many of them, it's, it's a real eye-opener, and it's, it's just a different way to do business that's very exciting.